Hello, Maya. How are you today? Yes. High five. Are you ready to learn how to swim? Yeah. Okay, first things to do when you are in the water to blow, to learn how to swim correctly is to blow your ba. Your bubbles, correct. And then when you have to move your legs to go forward, don't forget to look in the water for five seconds. Exactly. Are you ready to come? Five second bubbles, go. Whoa. Kick with your feet. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Hey, that's too fast. Whoa. Did you do your bubbles five seconds? Yes. Is it easy? Yes. Why is it easy? Because it's fun. Okay. Remember, if you want to swim good, right? You have to stay on the top of the water. And what do you do with your legs? You have to kick the water. Kick, 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 kick. Kick, kick, kick. Correct. So you do many kick, kick, five second bubbles and follow me, okay? Okay. And don't forget to enjoy. Go. Bubbles five seconds. Yes. Did you kick the water? Yes. Uh, how old are you, Maya? Two hours. All right. <laughs> See you next week. Hey, Benoit. Hi, Christian. How are you today? I'm good. Thanks, and you? I'm good, buddy. Thank you. All right. So today we try to do a video for our viewers how to tread water. Yeah. Uh, the idea is to be able to stabilize your body on the surface and to not sink. Uh, using your legs and eventually using as well your hand. Um, so, what is treading water first? Can you show me what is someone who tread water correctly? Yeah, I show you. So, tread the water basically. It looks like this. Mm. Okay, so you, you look. Your legs. Uh huh. One after the other, and you keep your body and your head outside. Okay, let me turn around you. Keep treading. So you look like you are sitting pretty much in the water, huh? Yes, exactly. I'm sitting in the water. Uh huh. My legs are moving, my feet are moving, and like this. I okay, let me check. Hands. Let me check underwater. I look. So I have, a, I have a good vision of uh, how it is. So the idea to tread water, right, is to stabilize your head outside the water, yeah. to not get tired. Exactly. And you can maintain your body in this position yeah. and look what is around you without being like uh, tired for very long. Exactly, yeah. So how, how do we tread water? Lots of people, beginners, they, they struggle for it. So they, they usually fight, they go up, they go down, they go up, they, they get exhausted. Yeah. What, what's the tips then you got to... First, you, you can sit, you can sit in the water like this uh -huh. to be relaxed, okay? Relax your legs and then you try to just float like this with your hands. Even not moving your legs? Even not moving your legs, you can just try the water, you try to do it with your hands. Okay, so your hands basically, they move like this, they, they, swapping like this. they swap left, right, left, right, left, right, and you, you have to feel in your hands like the power of the water, right? Like you pull, yeah. you pull, you just do it not outside, but inside the same. Yeah. Okay, you do both sides and try to sit. Okay, one thing guys, uh, just remember your body is floating. Actually, if you breathe normally, if you go closer and closer and closer in the water, slowly, at some point your body will just stabilize and float on itself. So don't try to fight to go out. The more you will go out, the more your body, after being out, wants to go down. That's where you start to fight doing this. Huh? Exactly. The idea is to stay 
where is your B and C? So you float near to the surface with your head near to the surface, stay here. Some people, very good B and C, they can go very high, no problem. Some others, bad B and C, they will be more, more closer to the water. So try to find where your body starts to float by itself and just stabilize it. Basically, you don't even need to move a lot to keep your body on the surface. You just need to balance your body, right? So, exactly. yeah. so Benoit, let's say now you can swipe with your left and right hands. Yeah. You can find your B and C when I'm sitting underwater. Like this. Yeah. I'm not thinking, I accept to go closer and closer and closer and closer until, oh, I don't need to touch the ground with my feet, I'm floating. I move slowly, gentle, continuously, left and right. What do I do with my legs? Then I'll tell you, you with your legs, you can move your legs from outside to inside. You can do a kicking like this with the bottom of your legs. So it looks a little bit, um, a bit like a brace stroke. Yeah. But alternation. Exactly. Not One, both at the same time. Left and right and left and right. Yeah. I can we do? Can we do both in the same time also? Moving your legs at the same time? Yeah. Does it work? It works. A little bit, but it's not very stable. The more stable will be alternation left, right, left, right. Yes. But in case you can do the both together, you, can you will maintain together. your body on the surface, yeah, but will. you might get more tired. A bit more, yeah. Okay, I will look underwater. Can you show me the movement with one leg only underwater? Okay, so basically you, you keep pushing the water over your feet and turning. Is, yes, there, exactly. is there an exercise to practice this? To practice? It doesn't look natural to me. So you can push the water and you try to very push the water in front of you. Uh -huh. okay. And to do a circle with your ankle. All right, you make sure that you bend your ankle like this and you push the water in front of you. Okay. It's like kicking a bit on the side one by one. Exactly, kicking your side. So I'm side sitting on the chair, yeah. lift up my knees, yeah. and alternation kick on the side one by one. One by one. Exactly. And bring back my knees to my chest. Exactly, yeah. Sitting like this. You can see it. Like this, I'm sitting in the water. Okay, let me see you again in the water. Right. I think it's pretty okay. That's what you can do to help you. Yeah. Is there any other tips you want to share, Beno? So, close to the body, make sure that you are not very uh, stressed. Try okay. to be relaxed. Relax. Okay. All right. And then when you are close like this, breathe in, breathe out. Okay, and then slowly, gentle, don't fight against the water. <sighs> very smooth in the water, and that's how you will feel very comfortable by training the water. Yeah. And then let's say when you can do this and master it, you can stay for how long? I don't know, it depends. 10 minutes, more. I can I can move like this if I am a deep ocean, for example. I can go back to a boat. I oh, can, I can also the change direction, actually. I can change direction, exactly, yeah. So can you show me how? So to change direction, you can bend your body uh -huh. in the water to go to one direction. Okay, I show you. All right. So you bend your body on the left side, on the right side for you. Uh huh. And then I'm still moving my legs and my arms. I can do. I can go the other side. Uh, sure. Up and the other side. I can also twist like this. I show you. Uh huh. So I'm sitting, and then I'm moving. I'm turning. I'm using my hand. I push in the water. Up with my hand. Like this. Up. And you can move on the back eventually. I can move on the back. Up. I can come close to you. Back. Can I see underwater? Yeah. So basically, you can do everything you want, going in any direction you want, any direction that you want. You as long as long then you do correctly the exactly. the movements and uh, you have the total freedom to yeah. to go whatever you want. Very comfortable. Look where you are going. Yeah, in which situation cool. is it uh, usually useful to know how to tread water? So, basically, you can you can use it when you are in a deep pool, okay? Yeah. Here we can stand, so that's very easy. The pool here is about 1.2 meters, but if you go to a bigger pool, deeper pool, yeah, you can 
can trade the water like this to wait a little bit if you are in the middle of the pool or uh, also you can do it in the ocean in the middle of the ocean in the middle of the like ocean. you drop from the boat yeah. you're waiting your friends and yeah. then you just uh, you just stay in the water there's nothing to catch yeah. you just trade water you can stay for an hour actually yeah, exactly. it's very an hour yeah it's very very relaxing yeah all right, Benoit, well, that's pretty cool. Um, so just guys, just make sure when you practice this, uh, don't go where it's deep at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, practice where you can touch the bottom of the pool. Like this. Uh, in case something you are not feeling too comfortable, at any time you can touch the ground and rest and be feel comfortable. Uh, and then when you master the skill in a shallow pool, then eventually then go in the deeper hand pool, try to practice changing direction, maintain your body, feel super comfortable basically. Yeah. Uh, you need to be able to, um, to swim if you go in the ocean as well. And then uh, after you practice all those skills for a few times, um, the next step is to learn how to do eventually water polo. Yeah. You know, because I think, I think water polo sports uh, Again with the bow, yeah, yeah, is the is the sport where treading water is one of the most useful tool. Until where can we train water, Benoit? Is it possible to tread water with the hands outside of water? Yeah, sure, I can show you. So I just use my legs, uh -huh. and I have my hands outside. So is it harder with your hands outside? It can be harder, but if you do it correctly with your legs, nothing happens. No, try to go higher and higher. Until higher. where can you go? Okay, uh, you can put your again. you can put your body. All right. Now you can. My chest is going outside. So basically, to go higher, yeah, to be, to be going more up, right? You need to accelerate the movement with your legs. Yeah. In one acceleration, then you will go up. Is it is it easy to stay up? A bit difficult. Yeah, it needs a lot of energy to to stay up and high. So what's the tips to stay up? To accelerate very, very fast with your legs. Uh huh. Yeah. A very high like this with your with your chest also. Yeah. You can use your hands underwater and your legs underwater. Let's see yeah. until where can you maintain your body five seconds the highest you can. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and that's a bit tiring. A bit tiring, yeah. Okay, this is what we learn in water polo, right? Exactly. The guys, they yeah. want the ball, they have to go high to catch the ball. And then to and, shoot. And then to shoot. Yeah. So basically, the resting one is near to the water with your face closed. That's super relaxed, super easy. Yeah. The exactly. challenging one is to do the stem, training water outside until higher your chest, higher your shoulders with your hands up. Okay, Benoit, thank you for all the tips. You're welcome, yeah, Christian. I hope this video helped you guys. Uh, you can download our Learn to Swim app on, uh, on our platform. On, on iPhone and on Android. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel and we hope to see you soon for our next video. Yeah, see you guys. Cheers. Bye. Hi guys, this is Christian from swimfly.com. Today we're gonna learn how to swim butterfly in three steps and only one lesson. Uh, so to learn how to swim butterfly is pretty simple. Uh, you just need to respect the basics, okay? And these skills on the right, right movement. And the butterfly is one of the strokes the most simple to, to swim actually. A lot of people they are like, wow, butterfly is so, so hard, so complicated, so tiring, so stressful, you are so good, you know, to swim butterfly. But actually it's not true. The butterfly is something, it's really natural. You need to feel correctly the movement in the water. You need to feel the waves, because it's part of movement like a dolphin, but it's very simple. So the step number one to swim butterfly is to learn how to execute the dolphin kick. A, a butterfly uh, strokes is not like a freestyle stroke where the legs are kicking one after one like this. The both feet are together, the knees are together, and you kick like a dolphin tail, okay? Like a whale, like a mermaid, okay? So, very simple to learn how to do this trick. You can just practice sitting here, now we here. And Basically, you can sit in the standing movement and it's like this. My legs go down and I kick up. The kicking needs to be up to the sky here. And I kick. You see, my feet flat, my knees flat. I kick up. I kick up. I kick up. Okay, that's the kick. The freestyle is like this when the butterfly is like this. Okay? You bend a little bit your legs and your knees. So, because you are on the other side, right? 
sits on the back, you will be like this. And three. Boom. 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 Can you listen that sound behind me? Boom. 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 That's the sound of the tail, right? So listen that sound because it's very important for, for learning after that. And one kick. Boom. Two kick. Boom. Three kick. Boom. Four kick. Boom. Every time I kick, there is a boom. There is a boom because my legs are on the surface. Okay? So don't forget to kick, kick, kick on the surface. So now, you need to practice inside the water. So I know, I know how to execute my boom, 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 which is my kicking on butterfly, right? So I'm gonna learn how to do it into the arrow butterfly, which is the step number one, is the arrow butterfly. So my hands far away, my head under. I blow my bubbles. I don't see my head here, it's kicking flatly. And I do boom, 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 boom with my legs, blowing bubbles for something like five meters or more, okay? And nothing much. Okay, you are learning. It's very basic, so take it easy. You practice again. Try to feel the pum pum, and you are moving forward. Okay, arrow position like this with the pum. Okay, so very simple. This is the arrow butterfly. Okay, a last little tips. When you do your boom boom, right, it's butterfly. Remember to try to kick not only, not only from your knees or from your feet. The butterfly kick starts from the lower body, but the upper portion of the lower body. So it starts from your stomach, from your hips, from your hips. Okay, the kick is actually starting from here. I move my butt behind, I kick, boom, I go, I go forward with my hips. Behind, forward, behind, forward. So it's not something where you are just kicking like this. For me, it's, you know, when I'm here, it's not like kick, kick, kick. It's more like I kick with all my lower body, okay? And I'm not only kicking with my knees and my legs, okay? If you can feel it, then it's like this. Then your kicking will be more effective, okay? So now I know how to do my arrow butterfly. So let's learn the step number two. You need to learn how to move your both hands together like freestyle. This is freestyle, only one hand, going back. The butterfly is both hands together, pulling to the end, then flying back on the side to reach the front again, together. Double pulling until the end, and then fly back on the side to go back together. When you fly back on the side, don't bend your elbow. Try to fly with a big circle on the side. Your fingers relax above the surface of the water. Try to touch the water as far as possible on the front. So pull and fly back, go back in the water. So we're gonna learn how to do the pulling, the double pulling, executing the pum pum. The pum pum are the dolphin kicks but you cannot breathe. The breathing is the last step. So we're gonna learn how to do this movement. One dolphin, two dolphin, you move your hands together. And again, one dolphin, two dolphin, you move your hands together. One dolphin, two dolphin, you move your hands together. At the first dolphin, stretch your arms forward. At the second dolphin, you can double pull and go back on the front. Go slowly and go easy. Remember, you are learning. It's all about sensation. So, let's try. You cannot breathe, so I want you to keep your head underwater, looking at the bottom of the water. Okay, so at some point you will need to take a breath, 
which is normal, so you stop at that moment. I repeat again. Don't focus on looking up. Simple. One dolphin, two dolphin, move your hands, okay? Go slowly and go easy. Okay, the very basic strokes for beginners. Now you have the motion. This is step number two. You know how to do your double pulling and going back on the side. So the real butterfly is actually be able to do the same, but you can breathe. You can take a breath every two double pulling. So you're gonna run now. I to do the same things, but at the second time you're gonna move your hands, you can breathe up near to the water with your mouth and dive again with your head under the water to go back into the arrow position and continue the dolphins. One dolphin, two dolphin, move your hands but don't breathe. One dolphin, two dolphin, move your hand but you breathe up one time and go down and again. One dolphin, two dolphin, stay down. One dolphin, two dolphin, goes up and go down. Okay, so that's the last step. Step number three, breathe every two strokes. Let's go. Okay, take it easy. When you can do that, you will have a better notion of what is the butterfly. After you're gonna practice more on your waves, you're gonna practice more on your relaxed movement, on the strength of your hand for the pulling, but that's the motion. One big dolphin, move your hands. Two big dolphin, move your hands. And every time you move your hands, you have another little dolphin behind. That's why it's two dolphins. One dolphin, Move your hands with another dolphin. One dolphin, move your hands with another dolphin. Butterfly is all about being smooth in the water. Okay, relax your lower body, feel it right, feel you can fly, and then the butterfly will become very, very simple. Okay, so this is Christian from swimfly.com. You can download our method to learn how to swim with us directly on the website. I hope this video helps you a lot. Thank you.